I'm back to my regular programming, and this is my weekly wrap-up and Friday reads. I'm not going to go over the books that I read on my vacation because I don't really remember that part. Not that I knew it was that crazy of a vacation, it's just that I had, I did other stuff, so that still sounds bad. So things that I've read, yeah, the wrap-up part is going to be super short since the only book I've read this past week is Titus Grab by Marvin Peake. Um, this is the first book in the Garmin Goss series, and apparently either the miniseries didn't include a lot, or I forgot a lot, because, yeah, um, I saw the miniseries when I was a kid, so that made me get interested in reading this. Uh, I picked this up years ago, so I'm just getting into it now. Um, but yeah, it's super engrossing. The world is very clear to you, and all of the characters are just very well defined, I think. So I will be continuing on with this series, and um, but I'll probably be getting the rest of the books from the library, because I don't want to buy any books right now. As for Friday, um, and things I'll be reading on Friday, and hopefully finishing on Friday, I'm hoping to finish Golem and the Genie by Helen Recker. This is her first novel, and it is pretty good. I hope to finish this today. Also, I hope to finish Who Owns a Future by Jared Lanier. He is like a technology philosopher. This is very, very interesting, and it is written from an interesting perspective, talking about the idea of money, work, need, and technology, of course, and what really it does for people in the long run. I'm probably going to do a review on this, so look out for that. And I hope to start and finish today, Friday. Um, Marcy Danley wants to see the 50 Year Sword. I have been reading this to read this for a long time, and this is my reading copy since I have a first edition, first edition English copy printed from Holland. I bought that years ago. And for the weekend edition of my reading list, I hope to get to Golden Boy by Abigail Tartelin. Um, I got this for first reads from Goodreads, and I need to do a review on this, so look out for this. And Gulp by Mary Roach. I really love Mary Roach's books, so I was really excited to get to this. And also, the winner of the 2012 election, Nate Silver's Signal the Noise, uh, why so many predictions fail but some don't. I want to see what else he has to say about predictions, since I think, uh, you know, he's the guy to talk to. Yeah, that's pretty much what I'm going to be reading this weekend. I hope you guys have a great weekend. See you guys later. Bye!